Welcome to Rusty Brain Dump. As you can see, I have moved my test bed out into the garage, connected up to the machine. So I've got my power supply, my driver. I put the motor actually on the machine again, wired it all up as I had it on the test bench, and uh, have the computer uh, sitting over here also, all connected up. So what I'm going to do today is to make sure that the motor, while on the machine, will move that table, which has got to be, I don't know, 100 pounds or more, um, probably more, and uh, move that table around. I've oiled the ways so that it'll move smoothly and um, got everything connected up. So let's see if we can get this thing to move. I have Linux CNC up on the computer here and I've got it set right now to run at uh, about 11 inches per minute. Now I haven't, I haven't made sure that it's actually moving the, the amount that I say. I've just, that's just the setting that it's at. It could, I, I still need to tune that and make sure it goes the right direction and right uh, speed and stuff like that. But Right now it's set to move at 11 inches per minute and I've got it on continuous mode so I just click the plus or minus it'll move one way or the other. So let's give this a try. I'm going to make it move in the positive x direction which means that the table should move towards the back wall in this case or, or uh, if I were standing in front of the machine the table would be moving to the left because as you probably already know you, it's, uh, the plus direction is based on the spindle. The spindle should be moving to the right of the workpiece as you go in the positive X direction. So here we go in the positive X direction and see how it goes. All right, it's moving. Excellent. All right, move it back in the other direction. I don't know if you can tell that it's moving pretty slowly. So let's bump that up quite a bit. Uh, let's go up to about, oh, uh, here's, we'll double the speed. All right. And I don't know if you can, you probably can't hear that, but it's growling a little bit. When the encoder gets in between two spots where it's marking your, your location, it tends to rock back and forth and you get a growling sound out of the motor, but it's really slight, so you probably can't hear it here. Let's see. All right. Double the speed in the positive X direction. All right. Good. Now I hear some squeaking and I think, I think the bearing in this motor might need to be replaced. So that's something I'm going to have to attack, uh, address later, but all right. In the negative direction. All right. It's moving just fine. Excellent. All right. So let's bump it up even faster. Let's go to about 40 inches per minute. Nice. All right, so let's see. Let's see if we can, according to, according to the DRO, um, we're, I'm gonna move this about three inches and see, see if that looks like it's gone about three inches. I'm not gonna bother measuring it right now, just out of curiosity. All right, that looked like it might have been a little more than three inches, so it looks like it might be off, but I'm just not sure. Okay, excellent. So that's going well. Let's, let's bump it up even faster. Let's, let's go up to about 50 inches a minute. Oh yeah, it's handling that just fine. All right, let's go up to the fastest that it'll go right on the jog, which is 60 inches per minute and see how it goes oh yeah no problem excellent all right so the next the one thing to check i think is is this drive getting hot no, it's not getting hot at all. Of course, I have it on 
two chunks of metal there uh, to use as heat sinks. I, uh, I have had a couple times when I'm playing with this where the motor has gotten quite hot, or the driver has gotten quite hot. But right now it seems to be not getting hot at all, which I'm actually a little surprised by that. Because, like I said, at other times it's gotten hot without putting it through too much work. All right. So you can see the table is moving back and forth. Uh, so what is my next step? A couple of options. One is uh, to hook up all of the motors and make sure they all work together. Uh, that's That would be, a, I think I will test each motor individually, but uh, I think prob maybe the next step what I, that I'll do is actually to make sure that the oiler is working. There's a there's an automatic oiler pump in this machine. I haven't played with it at all. I need to get some some uh, whey oil to put in it and make sure that it works. And the way that it works is every 30 minutes it pumps some oil. As long, when the machine is running it pumps oil onto the ways and the gears and the lead screw uh, and the spindle uh, every once every 30 minutes. And so I, I need to put some, make sure that's the oil in, that's in there isn't all nasty. Put some new oil in it, probably, I'm sure, and, um, and test it. So make sure that it's oily and everything. Otherwise, you know, I could have lots of problems later on. Um, but this is very encouraging. I'm really excited about this and uh, can't wait to get, it, get on to the next steps.